everyone to arrive, but we are just at the restaurant now. This is Mink. Hello. She's, for, well, why don't you introduce yourself? Hi guys, I, my name is Mink. I'm from Thailand. That's it? That's it. <laughs> Mink is from Thailand. So, uh, you're going to be seeing her in some of the Oman videos. We are in Muscat right now. You can see the beautiful mountains. We're just at the restaurant now. And we sit we're sitting, on the yeah, floor. sitting on Not the floor. Not on the table. Yeah, but that's the traditional way to do it here. So we've got ourselves a little private room, which is nice. And I think they're going to be bringing food out here soon. So we'll show you guys the food once it arrives. But um, yeah, this is awesome. Uh, first time live streaming uh, from the restaurant. So I hope you guys like it. Oh, I think our food actually might be here now. Let's check this out. Yes, this is the food. All right. Here comes the food. Thank you. Thank you. Little plastic thing so we don't make a mess. No, push <laughs> over just a little bit. Yeah. You? Oh, me. Yes, please. Thanks. <laughs> okay, good. Awesome. You got more coming? Oh, yeah. Some soup. Okay. Thank you. All right, got our food. So the food is covered, so it'll stay warm for a little bit. Um, so we can chat for a little bit and then we'll show you guys what we ordered. But uh, yeah, uh, I think I just see that a lot of people are just joining now. So uh, I want to say again, we're, we're in Oman, we're in Muscat, we're at the restaurant right now. This is Ming, this is my girlfriend, she's from Thailand. Uh, and we're going to be answering all your guys' questions later, but I want to show you guys the food first. Well, actually, let me just get this out of the way right away and just say that uh, you know a lot of people were asking about Sabrina. Um, it's been, I don't know, 14 months, over a year since we broke up. Uh, we're on really good terms still. We're still working together and uh, we're still friends. So. I just want to get that out of the way. I know a lot of you guys are wondering, but it's surprising because it's actually been a year and a half and I already made the two or three times. So, um, yeah, <laughs> we are not together anymore. That was a long time ago. And uh, this is Mink. So, you're going to see her in the Oman videos for sure. You might have seen her in some of the other videos, but. She's gonna be in uh, the Oman videos. We have the first video coming out this Sunday. So I'm super excited to share it. It's an awesome video from Muscat. We went to the fort and we ate some really good camel. camel. Yeah. This is your first time eating with your hands? Yeah. And first time eating camel. It was really good. It's so good and juicy. And this is uh, my first time live streaming from the restaurant. So how about, uh, how do you wanna do this? Maybe oh, I, I can it. hold it. I'll for give you. the camera to you. And I'll go over here. here take this. <laughs> the back of my head. So, yeah, here in Oman. Oh, careful. Oh, you can switch the camera around. Oh. It'll be easier. Okay. So, we're here in Oman. Sitting on the ground is custom. Eating with your hands. But since we've got the computer or the camera phone, we're not going to eat with our hands. We just asked for a fork and knife. But yeah, let me show you what we got here. This right. is a local restaurant. They have all kinds of food, but we ordered Yemeni food. So we're just north of Yemen. So it's pretty popular food here. Look wow. at that. Beautiful Mandi is what it's called. Man Mambi? Mandi? I don't know if this one's Mandi or it's Mandy. something different. But basically grilled chicken with rice. Can I put the lemon all over it? Mm -hmm. Put a little squeeze of lemon on there. Lemon it's my first. Over. Yeah, I am in love with the lemon. It's my first time doing <laughs> the food review live. Let's put a little bit of lemon on top there. All right. And then we've also got soup, soup chicken soup. And then back here, patouche salad. So here in Oman, there's a lot of like Turkish restaurants, Lebanese food, Mediterranean, North African. Uh, there's a lot of variety, and then of course the local Omani food as well. 
you'll see all that in the videos. So. And classy beverage. And Pepsi. Yeah. And Pepsi, <laughs> the one thing that you eat everywhere in the world, drink everywhere in the world, no matter where you are. There's always Pepsi on the table. And we got some sauce here too. Yeah, that's all. It's like a chutney. Yeah, we actually ate here the very first night, so we decided to come back. Let me get this. You want the plate? Yes, please. I'm gonna grab a plate. Okay. This is not as easy as when I can edit out all the times <laughs> that we're like moving things around and making a mess. This is behind a scene for real. This is in real life. Can I try? <laughs> yeah. All right, I'm gonna go in with my, my fork and uh, spoon. Even though, like I said, it's normal here to eat with your hands. A little bit of sauce or a lot. <laughs> Why do you not want to eat with your hands here? Because I got to hold the, the phone <laughs> to film. No, I know why. Honestly, it's don't wanna really make difficult to a mess. eat with your hands and not make a mess. So mix that up a little bit. And the rice looks like there's some, look at that. There's some like fruit inside of it, like dried fruits and it looks like some shallots. Oh yeah, it looks like that's a date in there actually. I'm gonna grab mm. a bunch of rice here. This looks really good. My mouth is watering. I'm really hungry. So yeah, we've got our first video coming up Sunday. I hope you guys will watch. Uh, I'm gonna premiere it, so I'll actually be there watching it with you. That's gonna be the first time I'm trying that. Uh, so I'll see you there. But uh, for the time being, let's try this Mandy and then let's do a little Q&A. I hope you guys can hear me okay. Um, I'm, can you guys let me know if you can hear me okay? Do you want me to make you, you just you just see what they say if they can hear it or not. But anyway, let's try this. Come on in. Get a close up on this. Lots of sauce. Some people say audio rice. is good. Audio is good. Okay. Cool. Just with the phone. Oh. We can hear you. Oh man. Okay. It's really good. Mm. Oh, this is better than the other time. Really. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm gonna keep eating, make, make, keep filming. <laughs> it's really good. This sauce has got all kinds of stuff in there. A little bit of green chili, some onions, some tomatoes. Mm. Oh, that's good. And we got a whole half chicken here. Check that out. Grilled chicken. Mmm. Let's try some of the soup. Chicken soup here. Alright. Mm. Oh, there's some cumin in there, I think. Some cardamom, too. They put cardamom in almost everything here in Oman. Mm. Yum. Alright, well, should we do a little Q&A then? Mm-hmm. All right, do you want to hold it and you ask me the questions? Mm hmm And then we'll put it on you and then you'll have to answer questions after. Okay. All right. So you guys can ask any question, anything you want. I know you guys have had quite a few questions for me lately, so go ahead, ask away. Mink will let me know. Pick, pick good ones. <laughs> really good can you mm. see the questions no question yet it's just people say mm -hmm. it looks delicious it is delicious it is show them the restaurant it's a cool restaurant we get little private private mm. room yeah number 23 so what do we got for questions how did you meet how did we meet mm -hmm. well we met online and then we met in person at uh, a noodle restaurant, a local Thai noodle restaurant. Well, it's like Chinese noodles, right? Mm -hmm. Chinese noodles in, in Thailand. Mink is from Bangkok. So that's where we met. What is your strange, strangest cuisine you have ever taken? Strangest cuisine I've ever eaten? Someone just asked me that the other day. I don't know, it's always changing. Well, when we were just in Borneo, I ate a, Coconut, or coconut worm, sago worm. It's like a thick grub. 
and uh, <laughs> that was pretty strange for sure. So say, hello, handsome Luke Martin. Hello, handsome Luke Martin. <laughs> Maybe I won't be taken for too long. <laughs> <laughs> Would a worm be good wrap it in the bacon? Hmm? Sorry, I'm just reading random things. I don't understand. Only well, we pick the ones that make sense. All right. When are you going to Vietnam? That's a good question. Actually, I was thinking about that today. I need to go to Vietnam. So definitely, definitely 2023. Maybe around February or March, we go to Vietnam. Where should Your we go? Your favorite country, but you have to pick only one. Favorite country? For what? Food? Mm, For food? Only one country? Wow. Oh, I always immediately go Turkey and Japan. Turkey and Japan for food. For travel and food and everything like all in one. Taiwan. Mm. Alright, I like this one. What? When are you coming to Mexico? <laughs> when are you coming to Mexico? Ooh. Well, I've been to Mexico before, um, but I didn't do enough. Just did Mexico City and Oaxaca. Um, so definitely got to come back to Mexico. There's so much good food there. It's And she's never been to Mexico, but she'll yeah. love the food. Spicy, spicy food. Mm. Um, I want to answer this question. Uh, the, the is your name Ming? M I N G? Mm. Actually, it's not M I N G. If M I N K is the animal. <laughs> Mink. Like the little rat thing. <laughs> <laughs> Mink. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you want to eat? Let's take a bite of this. How many people we got watching? Three hundred and eighteen. Mm. Let me show you a rare Omani oh, delicacy. It's called Bahsi. What? That's how you say it in Arabic. There's one. Yeah. Say hey Ming, say hello to a farang in Thailand. Say hello Hi. to a farang in Thailand. Hello. Am I the farang? Yeah, you're a farang. Mm. So, do you guys want to see more Thailand videos? Oh, oh, this one okay. is nice. What's that easy item on your bucket list that you haven't done yet? Easy item? Like travel? Mm -hmm. Oh, Vietnam's only city. a good one. I have been to Vietnam. But I haven't been there enough. Um, honestly, Africa. Excluding Morocco. That's an easy one. I haven't been to Africa other than Morocco. Morocco is Africa, but honestly, it's not like... Not like what most people think about when they think about Africa. So, definitely Africa. That's up there. Does Ming also like to eat a lot? It seems like the questions are for you. <laughs> Maybe we should switch the camera around. <laughs> uh, Mink honestly eats a <coughs> lunatic. She eats way more than me sometimes. And every night she's just like, before bed, she just talks about what she wants to eat the next day for breakfast. So, I think we're a good match. <laughs> Here, your turn. Um, uh, I think we should do front camera. Why? I'm not getting used to it. <laughs> yeah, your front camera? Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Uh, no, we're gonna do front camera. Uh, okay, I'll turn it around. Right. First of all, I want to say something. Some people will say some mean comments about uh, <laughs> about Sabrina making you know the videos better or whatever. If that's how you feel. That's fine. But uh, keep in mind that you know I have feelings. That hurts. And I've been trying really hard to make good videos. And uh, certainly, you know things have changed, but. We're gonna be making some videos together, and I hope you guys still like the videos. But if you want to say that stuff, then just uh, don't watch the videos. Then go watch someone else's videos. <laughs> I don't want to be mean, but uh, you know that stuff's kind of rude. Oh, I don't want to correct one thing. Yeah. I'm a Buddhist. Ooh, Buddhist. Oh yes. Yeah. Okay. Well, we should say. Yeah. So in the 
thumbnail, we used a picture where we were at the mosque the other day here in Muscat, and all the women need to cover their head. Yes, I have to wear that outfit because I I have a tiny hole on my jeans, and because we go yeah. inside the mosque, so I should wear a proper clothes. So mm -hmm. I need to put that. Mm -hmm. outfit even on. even they wouldn't let her in with a yeah. hole rip in her jean. So she put that on, and I didn't really think it, it was kind of a mistake when I posted that on the thumbnail because then I saw some people were like, Oh, Luke's dating a Muslim girl, but uh, <laughs> makes not a Muslim, not that it really matters at all, but I just want to clear that up. Uh, okay, let's get some questions. Oh, wow, Scott. Thank you. Okay, Scott asked you a question. For $20, he says, does Mink like very spicy food? Uh, I love spicy food, but I'm surprised that you eat more spicy, like, spicier than me. That's so weird. Well, I'm a but professional. Spicy food is good. And Thailand is famous for spicy food. <laughs> of course she likes spicy food. Uh, you need moderators. I will gladly moderate for you. I don't know how to do that, but, uh, is there... Let me see. Oh, add moderator. There you go. Amanda, I think I just added you as a moderator so you can get rid of these people that are saying mean comments. It's okay if they want to say whatever they want to say, but, uh, you know, I don't want to hear anything too rude. Okay, what do we got? Thai people are the nicest people I met. Why I got married to, in Thailand, too. Aside from amazing food, so Luke, you know if you get married, that wedding is like a village. <laughs> Coke is better. I guess. Yeah, actually, I think I agree with that. You like Pepsi or Coke? I like Pepsi. Yeah, Coke. Okay. Sorry. Okay, we got some people from Thailand here. I knew it, that you broke out with Sabrina because she found out that you are cheating on her. Like, this is what I'm talking about, guys. You're just making stuff up. Like, Please don't say that. That's really rude and that's totally not true at all. It was M M I don't even know how to say that word in the most amblicably we agreed. It was a mutual agreement and uh, we're both way happier now. Believe me, I just saw her when I was home in Canada. She's happy and uh, she doesn't appreciate the comments either because sometimes she gets to see them. So really don't uh, appreciate that guy. So please stop. Any plans to visit United States? I'd love to visit like the southern states, New Orleans, Louisiana for filming. But for travel, I'd like to go to like uh, uh, Utah and uh, Oregon. Um, oh yeah, so Alan has a good point too. That Sabrina also has a boyfriend too. So <laughs> we're gonna stop talking about it now, but. When are you visiting Pakistan? Well, of course, I've already been to Pakistan many times. Um, thank you, Amanda. Your friend from Sao Paulo, Brazil. Cool. I'd love to visit Brazil someday. We both want to. Mm -hmm. Brazil. Do you want to eat before it gets cold? Okay, I'm going to unplug the phone so men can eat. We're going to watch her eat. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> it's, not, it's not okay. We're going to watch you eat. Oh, my God. It feels so awful. Any questions for me? You guys can ask away. Yeah, show the food. All right, let's see the food. Oh, again. wow. Yeah. I thought it's dry, but it's juicy. I'm not. Uh, okay, I'll ask a good question. Are we both working on the videos or are you just a couple? Has the production process changed at all? So the production process has definitely changed a lot since uh, Rena and I broke up, but uh, Mink is helping me with some filming. She, she's cameraman, so let me know what you think of the camera work lately. Luke, how do you manage the heat and humidity? Scott, thank you so much, brother. <laughs> um, <laughs> what are you laughing about? What? Tell them how do I manage the heat and humidity. <laughs> 
How do I manage the heat and humidity? Am I you good? You just at? complain all the time. That's how I do it, Scott. Yeah. I just complain all the time. Let me turn this around. But I will say that here in Oman right now in November, the weather is beautiful. On the walk over here, it is like beautiful, maybe 22 degrees, but there's like no humidity at all. People want to ask, what, what do you do for a job, Nick? Um, my job is online marketing, like stuff like digital marketing, like that. Digital marketing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So if you guys are looking for some digital marketing, Link's looking for clients, so let us know. <laughs> Luke, <are> you... <laughs> that's a good question. Someone said maybe you're lying about how much spicy you can eat to make me feel better. Uh, no, really, we can we can both go chili for chili. I'm I'm willing to do it. We can do a live stream showing you how bad. Yeah. I am. Who wants to, you? to see? Mink versus Luke, spicy live stream next time. That sounds like fun. In Thailand, we need a spice off. How old is she? She's 27? It's only one year younger than me. Mm -hmm. I want to eat. How can I like, give it back to you? you want me? Yeah, okay. I can hold it. Okay. Oh yeah, someone said I got to come to Nashville. Yeah. Actually, there's a lot of places in the States for food that I'd like to go to. Let me go right up my fingers here. Hi, Bella. I'm from. I live in Bangkok. What are you I'm from... <laughs> Sorry, I'm from a small town called Ratchaburi. Mink's from Ratchaburi. Ratchaburi. Mm. Really good, Jacob. It's getting a little cold though. Any other question? Mm. Mm. What is your next country in Europe? Mm. In Europe? Mm -hmm. Do you have any plans in mind? Honestly, I've never filmed in France or Portugal. So, Portugal and France would be good for filming. Oh, oh. How do you eat so much food and keep on top of your weight? I gain so much weight in Thailand. <laughs> Exercise every day. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> Exercise every day. Be real, be real. I'm being real. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I don't exercise every day. Or every week. <laughs> <laughs> but let's just say I'm blessed with a good metabolism. Yeah, you are. I'm jealous. Any other questions? Oh, someone... Okay, I want to say something, though. We're going to Nepal is our next country, because I thought that was going to be the question. So, actually, next week we're going to Nepal. It's going to be my first time there. First time in Oman, first time in Nepal. Mm -hmm. um, 2023 is going to be the year of new countries on Chopstick Travel. So, I'd love to hear your guys' suggestions. We're thinking... Uh, Bangladesh, I've got some places in Africa in mind, some South American countries, but next up, uh, Nepal, next week, really excited. Mm, me too, first time. Mm -hmm. Any questions? Um, Check out this soup. It's like, I think there's lentils in it. It's like a lentil soup with chicken. It's really, really good. Really yummy. This is fun to do this, but it's hard to eat the food before it gets cold. Do you ever get scared being in other new countries? Um, honestly, not really, because usually we've got some local friends there that uh, always make us feel safe and make me feel like I'm not going to have anything wrong happen and if I do that I've at least got somebody there to help me out. Oh you should tell this story you should answer this question. What? Um where did it go? What? what? Hold on, hold on. Hey, I've gotten food poisoning before. I and most of you guys might remember the story about when I got food poisoning in India. But 
since we've been together, I got food poisoning only once. And no, but when you got food yeah. poisoning, it's happened in the same month and same time. And yeah. that's so shocking. And I, I'm going to be honest with you guys right here. I ate, like last month, I ate like a worm, eating camel, eating all kinds of intestines, organs, everything. I almost died from a quarter pounder with cheese from McDonald's in the Philippines. I swear to God, McDonald's in the Philippines almost killed me. <laughs> I had the worst food poisoning, second worst food poisoning of my life from McDonald's in uh, Palawan. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's what's in the Palawan. City? Porto Princesa. Porto Princesa in Palawan. I was so sick, guys. Oh my gosh. It was so, disgusting. Scott for pay. Thanks, Scott, for like $10. Oh, thanks, Scott. Uh, he said, look, do you prep your stomach with prebiotic or pepto bismol before trying new food? <laughs> um, at this point, I'm just indestructible. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, I don't. Sometimes, like, if I feel sick, or sometimes if I eat something really that I'm worried about, yeah. take a shot of whiskey or something like that. I shouldn't say that too loud here, but yeah. <laughs> I just, uh, look at this. I just bit a piece of, you gotta be careful because there's pieces, full pieces of cardamom in the rice. Oh, wow. And then when you bite down on them, it's good, but it's strong. That's scary. Yeah, so to answer your question, Scott, I don't really do anything special. I know some people like to do that before they travel, but for me, I think I'm used to it now, and I'm pretty careful nowadays. Like I said, the last time I got sick, it was from McDonald's, so that's telling you something. You see the stuff that I eat in my videos. McDonald's was the one that almost killed me. Mm -hmm. That's one question for me, saying like, Ming, did you also have an interest in food and travel? Um, yeah, I think I like good food because I don't know that I like good food until I met Luke because I always eat good food. Her I mean, like, my grandmother cooks yeah. and Thailand has a variety of food and, like, tasty Let's just food. say she has a high standard for food and just naturally from being Thai mm. and having grown up with her grandmother's cooking. So, yes, she does like food. But mm -hmm. also, you, you like traveling. You traveled before, yeah, yeah, before yeah. we met, so. Yeah, I travel from time to time. Should we switch? We need a tripod for next time. Yeah. Huh. We can do it together. We can eat. The food's good, guys. What do you think of this kind of live stream? Do you like this? Do you, do you want to see us do this more? Oh. Kanchi Kitchen. I sent you an email. And I messaged you on Instagram, please reply to me. I want to film something with you next week. Kanchi Kitchen. I'll say it one more time. I sent you an email um, and I messaged you on Instagram and now you're watching my video, that's crazy. Um, please, please reply to me. Let's organize something so we can film next week. I'm not sure if you already replied. I didn't get a chance to check my email. YouTube is my full-time job, yes. Yes, watching your video right now. Oh, Kanchi Kitchen. Okay, cool. Were you were you worried about featuring me on the channel? I'm sure you anticipated a bit of reaction. Yeah, for sure, definitely. I was worried. That's why uh, we've been dating for a few months, but uh, I kept it kind of off camera for the most part until now. I mean, it's been a year and a half almost, so I think it's time to move on and time for you guys to move on. Definitely need a stabilizer, someone said. Okay. Well, next time. Scott, thank you so much, brother. What did you say? Ming, what's your favorite Thai food? Me? Yes, you. Really? What's your favorite Thai food? It's like, no, no, no. Uh, oh, no, no. That's one food that my grandma cooks every summer. It's like. Bitter vegetable. It's bitter melon? Yeah. It's stir fry, bitter melon, vegetable with egg. egg. It's mm. so good. But she also likes padkana, which is like uh, kale, I believe. So, with crispy yeah. pork. With crispy pork. No, with crispy pork. The main part is crispy pork. Mm. <laughs> Should 
She's weird. So, I just see someone said maybe pick a place that'd be easier to film the food when we do live stream. But, but what do you what do you think? Because I mean, we've got the food here. Should we be focusing mainly on food? I kind of wanted to do a Q and A. It's kind of hard to film <laughs> and eat at the same time. But maybe it's a long way to sit on the floor. Yeah, maybe we should pick a table the next time. How long do you stay in Nepal? Uh, I'll be in Nepal for one week. So, um, if you have WhatsApp, Kanchi Kitchen, please uh, send me your WhatsApp. Not in the chat here, but uh, on um, email or on Instagram. I tried to send you a WhatsApp message. I'm not sure if I had the right number, but uh, let me know because I hope we can fi figure something out. Mink, are there any local Thai foods that you'd like Luke's reaction to? You want me to eat something in Thailand that I haven't tried yet? I, I never try to. It's like raw beef with blood. Oh yeah, lob. Yeah, lob. Raw beef. <laughs> Look at this is what she says to me. Raw beef with blood. Bye, Luke and female person. Gotta go. <laughs> okay, her name is Mink. I am looking forward to seeing you travel with Mink and having different female perspective. Welcome, Mink. Thank you. Do you always stay in hotels? Nowadays, yeah, I used to stay a lot in Airbnbs, but after the pandemic, I, well, yeah, during the pandemic and after the pandemic, I kind of decided to switch to stay more at hotels just for the cleanliness. Are you loyal to certain airlines or hotel chains? That's a good question. Um, I do stay at Hilton a lot, but I'm not like necessarily loyal to them. I stay at Marriott's and everything, but airlines, not loyal again, I mean, depends on where I'm going. If I can pick though, it's gonna be like a Middle Eastern airline, especially if I'm going for a long haul flight. You need to test him with some hardcore Thai food. <laughs> we're gonna go back to Thailand in a few weeks, so we're gonna be filming some stuff there. Maybe we should. Mink, will you have your own YouTube channel or are you just gonna be Luke's co-host? Oh, uh, I don't know. <laughs> we're not, not necessarily co-hosts, but good at speaking on my computer as you. Well, your first language is not English. Yep. Luke, are you, you need to get her to have some Tim Hortons and Putin as well? Oh, oh my god. god. We had Tim Hortons, believe me. We had Tim Hortons every day in Canada. <laughs> we were just in Canada for three weeks. So she got to meet my family and we ate Tim Hortons every single day pretty much. Um, you didn't have Putin though. I can't believe you didn't have Putin. Okay. People are asking for your Instagram. I'm not giving that away. <laughs> oh, cool. Cozy rain sounds. You clearly are not a big fan of this channel, so I don't know why you're watching the whole thing, but. Do whatever you'd like. How old are you, Luke? 28, yes. The, what happened to the white girl? Guys. Mink, did you have any aspirations? Alan, I just want to say thank you for asking some reasonable questions. Yeah, thank nice. you for being... Do you have any aspirations being a YouTuber? Wow, you made some YouTube videos in the past. No, no. Before we met, she made some YouTube videos. How to put makeup on or something. <laughs> it's long time ago, okay. What's your grandma's favorite cooking? Mm, my grandma's favorite cooking is uh, Thai curry chicken. Mm. I think it's right, right? Mm -hmm. With Tom oh. Jean. And um, Thailand is famous for some like spicy and like sour and spicy taste so my grandma makes a lot of like spicy salad with like mm. a boiled egg 
Someone said your English is as fluent as mine. Oh, thank you. Guys, I'm not going to answer anything about why Sabrina and I broke up. Um, that's not uh, something she wants me to share, and that's not something I want to share either. Besides food and travel, what are your other interests? Me? Yeah. God, Alan is like, uh, he's, like inter he's interviewing you, like, I mean, that is like first Am date. Am I getting a <laughs> job from you, Alan? No, it's good. It's really good. I'm just joking. Um, what are your other interests of in food and travel? Um, or is that for me? Maybe he's asking me. I'll answer it. I like, we both like nature, hiking, mm -hmm. swimming, going to the beach. Mm -hmm. Anything nature related, whenever we're not filming, we try to do lots of that stuff. Mm -hmm. Definitely have plans to visit uh, Japan. We're, we're really thinking about it. Mm -hmm. Do you have plans to come to the US, Texas here? I think we should. It's going to be a little bit difficult for her with her visa, but I mean, someday in the future, I think we yeah. definitely will. <laughs> well, the visa challenges are real, yeah. Well guys, that was a lot of fun. I think we might wrap it up here soon. Just try to finish our food before it gets too cold. Uh, we'll do maybe 10 more minutes, some questions. We'll, I'll recap in case there's anybody that just arrived, but basically we're here in Oman, we're in Muscat at the restaurant right now. Just had a Yemeni feast, mini feast, still working on it. And um, this is Mink from Thailand. <laughs> And we're going to Nepal next week. And the first Oman video will be this Sunday. And yes, we are planning on live streaming again. So let let me know, like, do you guys like this style where we're like at the restaurant where we're eating the food and stuff? Or would you rather just like sit down uh, and do like a Q&A? Has the unrest in the world impacted your travel plans? But yeah, honestly, the world's getting crazy these days, it seems. But, uh, for example, I'm always keeping my eyes on the news in case something pops up. For example, in Nepal, they're having a, an election tomorrow. Thanks. Tomorrow, yeah. And we had to delay our trip because... Uh, Everything was going to yeah. be closed, like the road, the hotel, the airport. Yeah. Uh, we've never been to Yemen, so I can't comment on how it's different. Is this an affordable meal? How much is it? I think it was like... Three. Seven reels? So about maybe $25? It's not too crazy. Luke, do you contact other food recruiters? Yeah, for sure. Um, yeah. All of them. Okay guys, we take um, five more questions or something and then we'll, we'll take off. Let me do a, a couple, a little bit more eating. Okay, over here. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Come in here. Some chicken. The skin on this chicken's really got a lot of flavor in it. Like we were saying earlier, you're supposed to really eat this with your hands, but because we're filming. You see Luke eat with his hand on yeah. this Sunday video. Lots of eating with my hands this Sunday. Wow. I like rice. the rice because it's got these little Yeah, it tastes so good. Fruit. And you gotta have it with the sauce too. Alright, big bite. Mm. Any questions? Mm. Mm -hmm. That's really good. So, um, would, would you go to Ghana? Am I swearing? Ghana, yeah. Pronounce it right? Yes. Yeah, that's one of the countries in Africa that I've got my eye on, actually. I want to go to Africa, too, because I never been there. We will this year. Oh, do you ever feel awkward recording yourself in uh, eating in public? For sure. I mean, obviously I've gotten used to it, but 
There's nothing natural about filming yourself eating at a restaurant, especially some of the places that I go. You can just sit right beside somebody, both sides. You're surrounded by other people. And then I've got this big camera right in my face. It definitely draws a lot of attention, but everybody's friendly. Is there any food that you don't, don't like? Um. Yeah, I mean, I can't think of. You don't like right bitter do veggie. I don't really like the bitter melon that much, but... Mm -hmm. Uni, I'm from Thailand. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what? This one comment said my man eats like a giraffe. Like a what? Giraffe. Like a giraffe? Me? Mm. Does it, someone else do your, all your... Does someone else do all your editing? No. I edit it for myself, 100%, but I'm trying to hire someone right now so that I can film more videos for you guys because the editing takes a lot of time. I was editing for the last two days. <clears throat> Spicy. Uh, Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. What is it? Oh Thank you, Alan. Oh my gosh, man. Welcome to the channel, Mink. I hope the haters don't get you. Don't worry. I've given her the briefing. <laughs> She's prepared. I don't know why people gotta be like that, but I don't know. They are sometimes, so. Do you eat all the chicken? Yeah, you know the chicken? Oh no, sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Is that your trick? That's my trick. <laughs> Alan, I appreciate it. I just want everybody to know, for the record, Sabrina and I are on good terms. She's moved on. I've moved on. That's life. I'm only 28 years old, so it's a normal thing. We weren't married. It's just so you know, too. We don't obviously have any kids. Oh, did I forget to tell you about my son? Your secret son? I mm, forgot to tell you about that. That's a joke. Okay. That's a joke, guys. <sighs> Alan, thank you so much. Really appreciate your support. Always. You've always been there. Go to Lebanon. Been to Lebanon. Been also. Yeah. You learn to edit by yourself. Yes, I taught myself how to edit. All right, guys. Did you get to see Devin when you're home? Is that Andrew Martin that I know? <laughs> yeah, I saw Dan. M Mink met Devin too. Yeah. Devin. Is it Devin himself? No, it's another guy from Hampton, I think. Ride or die, bro. Thanks, Alan. Appreciate it. You're the best. They're always haters, gotta ignore them. Yeah. Are you planning to visit Jordan? Yes, actually, that's one. one. Yeah, yeah, you eat madbi, not mandi. Yeah, that's right, madbi. It's a little bit different than mandi, isn't it? Thanks, Andrew. Saudi Arabia's on the list, too. Saudi Arabia's high up on the list. For 2023, it's, it's definitely one of the highest on the list. You guys are ruthless in the comments, on you? <sighs> My arm's getting tired. I really. <laughs> I need a. I need a tripod for next time. It's so hard to see because it's small, right? Mm -hmm. So okay, before I leave, the last thing, I just want to get the consensus. Do you guys like this style of live stream, like in real life, eating the food, or do you like sitting in front of the like tripod and doing the Q and A sit down style? I can hear the music in the background. Mm. Huh? Yeah, let me know about that before we go. Yes, I, it's a lot of fun. Yes, this style. I love live streams all the time. Yes, yes, I enjoyed. 
Yes. Okay. So maybe we do another one of these. It'd be kind of cool to do one where we do like street food and walk around and like show you around the streets. I gotta get some kind of like, uh, um, like a like a stabilizer. Please live stream more, but please get a tripod. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Sorry if it's been shaky, guys. I know. Uh, I'll get some kind of a tripod or something. World Cup prediction. I don't know. Oh, it's coming, right? Yeah, Argentina. Live streams with an activity are good, but a tripod would also be nice so you can focus on the chat when you're doing. Okay. Well, I'll get a little stabilizer thing for my cam for my phone, so that we can do that. Okay. I was gonna ask one more question though. Oh yeah. Okay. Last question, and then we're really gonna. <laughs> do you want to see more of her, or should she stay behind the camera? <laughs> Since these are so pretty, so. More of Mink, or should she stay behind the camera? She's been in the Oman video, so Sunday's video, uh, you'll, you'll see more of Mink. So, guys, I'm gonna be posting the video on Sunday. I'd love to see more of Mink, but I'm just worried she'll get hate. Don't worry about the hate, it comes and goes. She's, she's fine. More Mink, more of Mink, more of Mink, please. Someone's saying you're gonna dump me. Okay. <laughs> like she's awesome uh, more mink okay yeah so we'll do live stream maybe in Nepal um, are gonna get a tripod or a little stabilizer um, yeah guys so I'm gonna tonight I'm gonna publish a premiere for this Sunday's video so you can click and set a reminder for the premiere and then I'll be there on Sunday uh, to watch it with you, same time as usual. So I really hope you guys tune in because this, these videos from Oman are going to be awesome. And I know that the videos in Taiwan, some of you guys weren't as interested. They didn't do as good as usual. So I really hope that you enjoy the Oman videos. And then after Oman, uh, we've got um, Nepal coming. So set a reminder for this sunday's video i'm gonna post it tonight so you guys will probably get a notification i hope and then uh, i'll see you guys on sunday say goodbye see you bye-bye all right we're gonna have dessert off camera <laughs> okay guys thanks for watching and uh hopefully it wasn't too shaky see ya how do i end it i don't know okay bye